When asked about who this movie is for, director Greta Gerwig constantly says this movie is for everyone. It's meant to be a party. I can confirm this is the summer party that you've been waiting for. My screening got me this sick merch of poster, a nice little pin. We were given cotton candy to enjoy throughout the entire movie. <laughs> I will say I was severely underdressed. If you're going opening weekend, I would highly recommend you wear a lot of pink because people were decked and out. And that's my biggest takeaway from this film is that this is a vibe movie. This is a movie where you're just going to be immersed within this universe and admiring everything every single aesthetic you're seeing on screen. From the costumes to the set design, the soundtrack. People in the theater were just celebrating Barbie as a property like I've never seen before. Throughout the entire production of this movie leading up until the marketing, I think the tone of this film was a question mark for some people, but I think was much more obvious once we got closer to release. Really, the tone of this film is everything. It's bright and colorful like bubblegum and cotton candy. It's an absolute delightful time that you want to just spend with these characters. While at the same time, the tone is equally balanced with a very hard heartfelt message about what it means to be a woman. Let me just preface up front, if you like really hate women, you're not going to like this movie at I all. I can already tell that there are going to be groups of people out here not liking this movie for that message, walking away thinking that this is somehow anti-man. And if your idea of anti-man is simply women empowerment, then maybe you just should skip this one. But even within that broad message, there's a lot of nuance to it, especially with the character and property of Barbie. I'm actually very impressed of how they were able to walk this line of critiquing Barbie as a historical property but also celebrating what she does for women for some people barbie represents what young girls can be when they grow up which is anything but a more critical approach to barbie is the negative side to her being this standard of what women need to be whether it be the way they look or act and this movie talks about all of that how barbie has been both of those things to women and how barbie can move forward in being a more positive light to pretty much everyone. So while that's the moral, I think the execution of it could be hit or miss. There's nothing subtle about it, and I don't think that's a bad thing. But there were definitely moments where the movie felt like it completely stopped to break the fourth wall to just really hone in on telling us what the message is. But that's such a very small critique because the overall story that it does tell is very powerful. People were crying, laughing, cheering. My audience really connected with it. This is also, without question, the funniest film I've seen this year. And it's funny for multiple reasons. One being the tone that I described with all the characters kind of living in this idealistic world. But there's also a lot of just clever humor with pop culture references. The script is very well written and very sharp. And as far as the humor goes, the standout for me would be Ryan Gosling, which I see a lot of people saying already. We've seen him in these comedic performances before, and he continues to just nail it with every line he's given in this film. That's not at all to discredit Margot Robbie, because the performance she gives is equally as powerful, it's just a lot different. Ryan Gosling is provided with all the most eccentric parts of this film, when Margot Robbie's character is meant to be more stoic and less emotional. Which is also a very underlying theme of this film for discovering her emotions and how to better use them. So in that way, I thought her performance was amazing. I think it's just going to be a little bit more subtle and not as noticeable as his performance. But everyone else in this film was pretty fantastic. America Ferreira was given the most emotional core within this movie. She is this mother in the real world and dealing with her relationship with Barbie. There's a speech she gives in this movie that my audience just erupted in applause over. The other part that I thought could have been a little more clean for me was the outside world of Barbie Land. Going into this, we knew that Barbie and Ken would leave Barbie Land, go into the real world, meet the creators and see CEOs of Mattel. And while I like that there is a different feel and vibe within those two different worlds, I didn't really connect a lot with the Mattel storyline and this meta kind of commentary of these CEOs working with Barbie. And to be honest, it really isn't settled in a satisfying but way. I think my solution wouldn't be to remove that part. I just think I wanted a little bit more in the outside This world. fish out of water story of seeing Barbie and Ken try to interact with real life humans. There were a couple good bits, but for the most part, it was kind of brushed over just so we could get back to Barbie. And there was a very specific reason why they needed to be there. Barbie has a very powerful arc that she takes back to Barbie Land, and Ken has an equally interesting arc that he takes back to Barbie but Land. But it felt like there could have been just a little bit more room to breathe within that buildup, because it kind of rushes to the climax of where their characters butt heads. And then the last 30-45 minutes are kind of the resolution of that. I can also see a world where people are critical over the rules of this universe. Like, how do they just switch from Barbie Land to our world that easily? But I kind of like that the movie doesn't pay too much attention to those details. It's kind of refreshing to not have to care about that, and just enjoyed the world that we're getting. I'm very interested to see how this movie holds up over time because right now it feels like the kind of feel-good movie you just want to go see again and again. There's plenty of sequences full of song and dance that just make this a very fun audience experience. Greta Gerwig has done it again. I would highly recommend going to see this in theaters and wear some pants. So that's Barbie. Have you seen it? What do you think? Comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this and I will see you next time.